San Diego County has chosen its 2023 Teachers of the Year, and today we are highlighting one of the five teachers chosen. Joining us now is Wendy Threet yes. <laughs> with the Escondido Union School District. I finally got it right, Wendy Threet. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank this you so much. This is exciting. You are the last of our teachers to mm -hmm. meet, to last but not least. You uh, were, say you were very surprised by this award. Tell us what mm -hmm. you were thinking as your name was called last week for this ceremony. So I was called fourth in the line of five, and um, I didn't realize at the time, but looking back, I think they called us alphabetically, <laughs> but uh, we had no idea. Um, so after the third name was called, I actually turned to my husband and I said, it's not going to happen. Aww. And then right away, they called my school and my name, and I was just stunned and very surprised, but very excited at the same time. Well, let's talk about your school. You are a fourth grade teacher at Felicita mm -hmm. Elementary mm -hmm. in the Escondido Union School District. Yeah. Talk a little bit about what's special about teaching fourth grade there mm -hmm. at Felicita. So fourth grade, you know, they're nine, they're 10. They're just all about really becoming their own person, really becoming independent thinkers, independent learners. And it's really fun to work with fourth grade because they also have really um, amazing opinions about things and I can change those opinions. For example, you know, a lot of students come into my room and they say they don't like math. And so I just think to myself, uh, at the end of the year, that will be different because We're gonna get I know how to make that. it really fun. Yeah. Because what? Fourth mm -hmm. grade is like long division or something, right? Yes. That's <laughs> one of the one of the things we do. And that can be a challenge. Mm -hmm. But it, it is a blessing to, to see that transition happen for your students mm -hmm. where they can feel confident and yeah. say, no, hey, I like math. Mm -hmm. What do you find to be most rewarding in your job? I think it's just what I was talking about, how I can change the trajectory of their opinions, of their um, of their perceptions, of a subject, of people, of themselves. And that's a really powerful thing that I have that I, you know, that I can do. And so um, that is really, really fun about making them be better people. Yeah. When you uh, were hearing all the names called and you were hearing all the speeches from some of the other winners of this mm -hmm. award and who will go on to the state competition. What was something that you picked up on from some of the other teachers? Just that um, we were in a group of over 40 teachers that were selected throughout the county and that all of us are extraordinary educators all in different ways. Yeah. In looking at what was uh, said about you in some of these nominations, you said that uh, you've always gravitated towards teaching and you say you were mm -hmm. born to be a teacher but also mm -hmm. a lifelong learner. Yeah. Why do you feel you were born to be a teacher? It's just what I've always done and actually I didn't ever want to be a teacher. Um, I actually have a degree in radio and television. I wouldn't ever do this, but I was going to be, you know, on a radio station somewhere. Um, but I always gravitated toward working with children. So whether it was a camp counselor or a swim coach or a tutor, I always found jobs that put me in those positions. And at one point, uh, several years after my undergrad degree, I just said, you know what? I need to become a teacher. <laughs> and you haven't looked back since, right? right. Mm -hmm. So what did the students say when you told them that you won? Um, I, th I don't know if they know what that really means yet. Oh, really? I okay. think through the year when they get to experience other things with me, other events, or they get to be a part of it, that they will really understand. But I think they know that this is, um, this is a big honor. A big honor, certainly. Well, we are so glad that you're in the classroom with our kiddos and just glad that you came in this morning. So we wish you well in October. That's the state competition, right? Yes, that's when they announce it. Mm -hmm. So then do you go travel? Is that, I'm assuming that's somewhere, uh, is it? I don't Probably know where they do a, that uh, Sacramento. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And so we'll whatever go travel else for that. Happens next. Yeah. What a wonderful time. Thank you so much, Wendy Threat. Mm -hmm. We will uh, follow you all and cheer you on at the Thank state you. level. Thank you. Absolutely.